Hello children welcome to another exciting of your english class now today uh, before we begin i have one very important question to ask you we have all traveled to different places we have had many experiences during our visit to those places has there been this one place which you have visited and which has changed your life you may be young but still your ideas about certain things the people around you things like that well today we will be looking at the story of a young man who visits such a place and this visit or should we call journey changes his life forever and this place becomes an unforgettable journey in his life so take your notes and take a pencil or a pen and open the text to the poem when i set out for lioness written by thomas hardy before we move on to discuss the poem let me tell you that the main theme the central idea that the poet deals with here is the idea of journey is it a journey within let us find out before we begin the poem i would like to tell you a few details about our poet thomas hardy thomas hardy was an english novelist and poet he was born on the 2nd of june 1840 in the parish of stinsford in dorset england now this man was influenced by the poems of william wordsworth and the ideals of romanticism though he began writing at an early age say he was 17 years when he started writing So most of his manuscripts were turned down by publishers for various reasons but let me tell you this did not stop him from writing he continued writing till his death you may ask so did this man go to the university did he attain degrees well no due to his family's meager financial means he could not attend university at the age of 16 he was apprenticed under a local architect named James Hicks and his journey in the field of architecture began from then but you have to know that he also wrote being one of the apprentices under a local architect he had to visit many places and supervise either the construction of a church or any other building or he had to look into the supervision now one such journey probably in his early adulthood lent him to a place which is this place what did he experience there what happened in the end all this is beautifully explored in this poem shall we start reading when i set out for lioness a hundred miles away the rhyme was on the spray and starlight lit my lonesomeness when i set out for lioness a hundred miles away what would be chance at lioness while i should sojourn there no prophet does declare nor did the wisest wizard guess what would be chance at lioness while i should sojourn there when i returned from lioness with magic in my eyes all marked with mute surmise my radiance rare and fathomless when i returned from lioness with magic in my eyes as you see we feel that this poet who has begun on a journey has explored something unusual the recurring motif here is journey the three stanzas are divided into three parts the first the beginning or the start of a journey the second the actual visit to a particular place and the third the return from that place let us look into the first stanza when i set out for lioness a hundred miles away the rhyme was on the spray and starlight lit my lonesomeness when i set out for lioness a hundred miles away 
what is this place? Lioness. Lioness is actually a mythical place which appears in Arthurian legends. Now ma'am, what is an Arthurian legend you may ask? Tales centering on the legendary king Arthur of Britain are called Arthurian legends. Now why does the poet choose this place, Lioness? He says when he set out for Lioness, which was a hundred miles away. So the first answer begins with the rhyme was on the spray and starlight lit my lonesomeness when I set out for Lioness a hundred miles away. Now when you read the first answer, you notice that the poet does not have company. He is alone and the word that relates to being alone is lonesomeness. Now we also get to know that it is the middle of winter because there is frost everywhere and the line which suggests that is rhyme on the spray. Rhyme here refers to frost and spray is foliage or the branches and leaves of trees. So the poet is trying to tell you that when he set out on this journey, there was frost all around him. It was a beauty that was beckoning him to visit. Next, he also says that it was pretty dark as starlight was the only light that was leading him in his path. And then he repeats that he is lonesome. He is alone in this journey, which is a hundred miles away. So the journey begins here. Let's move on and see what happens in the next answer. What would bechance at Lioness while I should sojourn there? No prophet durst declare, nor did the wisest wizard guess. What would bechance at Lioness while I should sojourn there? Now underline these words, bechance sojourn, dust, wizard. Do you know the meaning of these words? Can you guess? Bichance. What would bichance at lioness? What would happen at lioness? Do you know what happens at lioness? Or when you visit a place, do you know what may occur there? No, we don't know. While I should sojourn there, while I am on this journey, I do not know what will occur in my life. No prophet durst declare, no prophet dares to declare, no prophet can declare that this will happen in Hardy's life. Nor the wisest wizard guess. Nobody is a magician. Not even the wisest of magicians can tell you what will happen in your life. What will happen today? What will happen tomorrow? Or what will happen a few weeks later? Nobody can predict. The poet tries to stress on that reality. What should bechance at lioness? Observe, he repeats it. What should bechance at lioness while I should sojourn there? Now this stanza talks to you about the actual visit and the experience that the poet has had in that particular place. Now let us move on to the end of this journey, the third stanza. When I returned from lioness with magic in my eyes, all marked with mute surmise, my radiance rare and fathomless. When I returned from lioness, with magic in my eyes. So something very great has happened. And the words, magic in my eyes. There was magic in his eyes. And who says that? So the poet is trying to tell you that when he returned from this journey, all the people around him marked his distinct appearance. And what was that? There was magic. There was a twinkle in his eyes. And the poet says that many people, those who were around him, his friends and family, noticed something different about his being. 
there was a glow which was very rare and very deep. Nobody understood what this actually was. Now, you have to know that journey being the major motive here recurs in every stanza in a different way. Now, what is so different about this poem? You may have observed that I already told you about Lioness. Now, Lioness, as I told you, is a mythical place that appears in Arthurian legends. Why does this poet make use of an imaginary place to talk about his journey? Why do you think he does? So this may be due to the fact that he has experienced something magical within himself. This travel, this journey has led him to discover something new, something very rare, which has changed his whole life. I have been talking to you about this journey and have made use of the word parish. Do you know what a parish is? Well, parish is a small administrative district which has its own church and a priest or a pastor. Hardy went there to supervise the restoration works of a church and while there he experienced something very magical and in order to capture this magic he titles this poem as Lioness, a journey to Lioness. When he returns home, people, as I've told you, observe something strange about him, that there was a glow in his eyes and that he had a piece of crumpled paper in his pocket. Now, according to some biographers, this very piece of paper was the draft of a poem, which we read just now. Isn't it amazing how this very simple poem is able to explore the inner meaning of life. So children, um, before we conclude, I'd want to ask you a few questions. What are the things that you observed about the poet on his return from his journey? Can you name a few? Well, let me help you with that. You do come across the solitary state of the poet's mind, right? But he comes back with something powerful. You should always know that Mother Earth heals us in ways that we cannot fathom. And this happens to Hardy as well. He is healed by nature. Let us move on to the exercise. We have three questions. Question 1. In the first stanza, find words that show A. That it was very cold B that it was late evening, C, that the traveller was all alone. I'll give you a few seconds to write down the answer and I shall tell you the same after that. I hope you have written the answers for this one. A, that it was very cold. The words are rhyme. B, that it was late evening, starlight. C. That the traveller was alone. Lonesomeness. The second question. We have two parts in this. Part 1. Something happened at Lioness. It was Option A. Improbable. Option B. Impossible. Option C. Unforeseeable. Now which one do you think is the right option? You're right, it's option C, unforeseeable. The second part of the question, pick out two lines from stanza 2 to justify your answer. Now look at the poem and tell me the lines which imply this. The answer is, what would bechance at lioness while I should sojourn there? Question 3 also has two parts. Part 1. Read the line in stanza 3 that implies the following. I quote, Everyone noticed something and they made guesses but didn't speak a word. Now which line implies this statement? You're right. 
it is all marked with mute surmise. Part 2. Now read the line that refers to what they noticed. Yes, you marked that right. It is, I quote, My radiance rare and fathomless when I returned from lioness with magic in my eyes. Now before we conclude, let us look at the rhyme scheme. The rhyme scheme for this poem is A B B A A B in stanza 1 A C C A A C stanza 2 A D D A A D stanza 3 On this note, I have come to the end of this video but before I leave I have some interesting trivia for you. Did you know that Thomas Hardy was buried without his heart? Interesting? Well, find out more in bookstelluy.com. Have a great day. Wear mask, stay safe. Thank you.